Okay, here we are at the estate clearing. All these pianos are in line to go into the dumpster. These were all very nice at one time. Here's every piano journal ever. I think those are all gonna go up the chimney too. Nice big Steinway there in the 50s. Another 33B, A really fancy one. The extra trim there. Just like the one that we have at the shop. Nice fissure here. Big old upright. There's so much to look at. These chick rings are great. Real serious instruments. This was an old antique piano restoration place. And the recent owner has passed. And most of these are going in the dump. It's a nice Steinway there. We just pulled a nice Steinway square out. Another 33B here. These are going to a museum. These will be saved. This one looks nice. Again with the extra trim. Cool. Okay. I think that's about it. Here's some ebony blanks. I've never seen these. These are blanks for keys, I would assume. Solid ebony. Pretty cool. Those are great for guitar nuts, but those are staying here. So let's go to the next room. In the action department, we got tuning hammers galore. Sims of strange piano parts. It's a lot like our place. Jesus. Okay. Got stuff. Stuff. Got keys, ebony. Ivory too, I bet. Could take these perhaps. We'll see. Here's the first load from the first building. All these rosewood lids. That is excellent stuff for the guitars. This is some of the best. From the best years, middle 1800s. Can look at those later and take those apart and show you how we get the veneer off of them. We got a Steinway Square Grand too from this. Here's the second room. We just got three rosewood pianos out of here. One was a European Bluthner looking type thing. We'll check it out when we get back to it. All these pianos are doomed. Nice little cute one there. Really cool organ right here. Old Leslie, maybe. It's really old stuff. Crazy amplifier in there. I think this is going, going to be saved. All these pianos. This is 25 years of collecting. Two square grands out of here. Just one. We're leaving one behind. We don't have room for it. This is pretty crazy. An embalming table. And this one's a brain analyzer. Huh. Another organ. Just keeps going. We were told this room was packed with stuff. It's mostly to the end now. What possesses them to have an embalming <laughs> Amazing stuff. Here's the rosewood square that I can't take. That one's going to be thrown away. That's some of the best wood there ever was though, in terms of rosewood. On a Hallett and Davis. It's been there a long time. Oh well. Looks like we got a good load. We'll get back to the shop and check out what we have. Here's a Matthew Schick. It's a nice shape. Matthew Schick. Well, maybe not. The mice think it's in nice shape. It's really nice mahogany. Okay, I think that's it. We'll load up and get out of here. Looks like a mess.
We have lots of legs, Steinway legs, liars, nice pianos, lots of rosewood. We'll sort through all this later. There's a track, two Steinway squares. I'll look at all the serial numbers and years. But these sat in that place for a very long time. I think 20 years. This collection was moved to Massachusetts from, I believe he said Washington in 2000. And these probably were put there and they just sat there until we just took them away. This is a nice one, European Grand. They had some real nice rosewood. Unfortunately, it goes vertically, so I don't get big chunks of long veneer. Still nice stuff. I think this is a mahogany one. That's okay. And this is another Steinway Square. This one was inside. This one's in pretty decent shape. So let's take these out and we can take a closer look, perhaps. Here's the Steinway, one of them. 32,000. This one's really gross. And this one is a Boardman and Gray, number 10,000. I don't have the Atlas piano book with me right now, but if, if you do, you can look up the numbers for these and find out what years these are. It's got copper strings. Someone did some work. I'm sure a lot of work was done to all of these pianos at one time. Okay, let's go to the next victim. Cool piano. All right, what is this one? I forget the name, we have the lid, it's got the name on it. This is cool, this is a European grand, possible museum documentation worthy. It's got some real funky stuff going on. One, looks like one, one, eight, nine, four. One eight five four. Not a three, because it would be the other way. It's got to be an eight. One eight nine four. Oops, sorry, on the camera. And who is it? C. A. Clem, out of Dresden, Germany. Oh wow! But yeah, this is a very number. Eighteen hundred. Cool. I mean, and I see it. Yeah, it is triple overstrung. Amazing. It looks just. Very similar to the Bluthner we did. An 1872 Bluthner. Oh my Wow. Can we put this off to the side so I can... Yeah. It can be the last in this, this is, pile. This is Triple overstrung everything? You say? Well, double overstrung. Oh at least. You see, there's your plain wires. And then here's your first section of wrap wires, which do cross them, because you can see the others are mounted down here. And then there's a third layer of base string, or second layer of base strings, a third layer of third tier stringing. Oh, this is very much like the blue thing. It's got the, the wires passing through the bridge. Probably about 1870 something. I would say somewhere in there. It's a complete it's, piano, I think, technically. Oh. The wire might be missing. Yeah, I think the wire is missing. <laughs> a 
okay. Somebody played it a long time, the hammer's all worn out. Really bad. Okay, got another dolly? Yep, we'll get the next one. This one's got Put that off the side for later. What else do we have? This is a Steinway again. This one is... Do boys. We'll get it out and take a look. This is 1820s or 30s. What's this? Uh, it is Dubois, Bacon, and Chambers. What number is it? Of New York. 1830s, 18, 1840s something. I mm. would say. Because you go, you start 1820s. There's no way, not even any plates in them anymore. Oops, sorry. Oh, is a plate. Boy. Museum of Art. North Carolina Museum of Art. Account number 40. So this was in a museum at 1.4. Well, somebody stole it. Or cool. they divested. Alright, we'll put this off to the side. See, we've got the old music back in here. Yeah. This is, uh, this is really, really, really old. It's got a two-piece action. Yes, it's got, the, it's got the action and Just like the yeah. two boys we had. Right, it's the same a little thing. tiny action on the end that comes out. It's, it's in half. Yeah. So they can have the treble notes. What is it? One, four, eight, two. Okay. It's not rosewood, so it'll probably survive. The biggest Steinway, number 40, 48,000. 48,000? That's what that number says there. Okay, the last one was 32, That's so... 1880-something. Yeah, this is an entirely different piano from the last one. 60,000 is 1890. 60,000. Yeah, this was being restored, I guess. Huh? Yeah. The bridges look nice. Yeah, it was a nice shape, this one. Nice soundboard. Yeah, amazing. Nice guitar. <laughs> Yeah, right there. It's interesting. It's got 88 A grass where the last one had a had a bearing on it. What was it back Well, this plate comes out real easy. That's great. This might be the first one to go in. <laughs> yep. The first victory. 1880s Steinway. And if anyone's watching this and you want any parts for any of these pianos, the parts are available. Or the whole thing. I think that's it for now. Here's a quick look at that grand lid logo. It's so Bluthner-like, this piano. It's a C.A. Clem, Leipzig. They had really nice rosewood. It seems to be different from the American rosewood of the time. It's hard to see. That's that.